we have just begun to start unpacking the end times theology. And if you have questions, that's great, because so do I. And even as Jesus was unpacking this, his disciples had questions, and he always created that place for them to sit down, sit at his feet, and listen to the word of God. And so once Jesus had said that the temple was going to be destroyed, and remember, we've started to pick up the temple, we've started to pick up that we should know the season, that we won't know the day or the hour. The disciples then come to Jesus with questions. When he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, privately saying, Tell us, when will this be, and what will be the signs of your coming and of the end of the age? Now, we know that Matthew contains, the Gospel of Matthew contains one of the greatest bodies of teaching humanity has ever seen in the Sermon on the Mount. That's found in Matthew, Matthew 5, 6, and 7. But there's a second body of teaching called the Sermon on the Mount of Olives. When we're looking to have our questions answered, we want to look at Revelation and Daniel and the prophets, and we get really confused. But what if Jesus preached a sermon just on the end times? We spoke in plain language without making it confusing. Well, that's exactly what he did. Matthew chapter 24 and 25 is the Sermon on the Mount of the Olives. And Jesus begins it by saying this. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. Beware that no one leads you astray. This is the biggest problem with end time theology, is that many people listen to preachers like me. And many of the preachers start to make predictions and strange predictions. Like I remember seeing that the barcodes were the, the mark of the beast. Every pope has been called the Antichrist. Every American president has been called the Antichrist. Now, Jesus isn't just saying, know that there are signs at the end of the age. Know that I'm coming again. He's saying that we need to respond. And there's a response to just about everything that Jesus says. And his response is this. Beware that no one leads you astray. How do we do that? As we look at these two concepts, one is, is the uh, coming of the end of the age, the signs of your coming, what to look for. And then the second coming, right, um, those are two different concepts. But if we listen to everybody talking, they start to twist it and fit it into every box imaginable. So how can we not be led astray? And the key is for you to read the scripture for yourself. That's why I'm pointing you to scripture. That's why I'm here to help you with the answers. And once you've looked at scripture, start to research the concepts and, and understand for yourself. Then you have first-hand theology on the end times. Then it will be very difficult for someone to lead you astray. Then if somebody says Jesus is here, you can say, no, he isn't because I know because I've read in scripture. Let us be informed Christians. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray that you'd open our eyes to the scripture and give us a hunger in our heart to find what you have shared with us. For you are the most high God. You have shared this for a reason and the reason so we can know what is coming and how to respond. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.